Well, hi guys. Sorry, you look like a holy mess. I just got out of work. It's uh, Saturday, the 30th of September. Um, I was contacted, recently contacted by a gentleman that makes plaques for European mounts. And he wanted to know if I would do a review and show him on YouTube for him try to get some business I told him yes I would do it so I just got him in the mail uh, Thursday so first one I got this one here with the back clip on the back to hang on the wall uh, pretty nice piece here um, like the uh, looks like a broadhead type one got these knobs so it don't ruin the wall and also I got this other one more like more or less a plain one with the same stuff on the back all nice shiny finish um, I don't know what type of wood this is. I don't want to say because I don't know. Um, he can be contacted at um, Daisy Daisy May Whitetails on Facebook. Um, and he's got, and I'll show some more samples here. He's got a lot of different designs that he does. And he can also do one, a custom one for whatever you'd like to have. Um, like I said, these pictures are what he, some of the samples he's showed me. Um, I think they're pretty nice looking. I would definitely give them an A plus highly recommend. Um, this one here, I really like save this one for when I get my buck this bow season. <laughs> no. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys these. They're really nice and smooth finish. Some nice, really nice woodwork involved. So, and like I said, he can be contacted at Daisy May Whitetails on Facebook. He contacted me. We've been talking back and forth, but he contacted me through my channel. And then um, he's got a, a camp up by me the way the way the crow flies it's not too far he messaged me or sent me a um a text while i was up north but of course i don't have phone service so i didn't get it till it was too late and he had brought some up there was going to give it to me when i was up there so he had sent him sent him in the mail but no he's got a lot of different designs I'm going to go ahead and check him out on Daisy May Whitetails on Facebook. So, oh, it's going to be a short little video. Um, tomorrow's uh, opening day of bow season here in Michigan. Uh, I know it's West Virginia started today. One of the guys I follow through YouTube there, he got a he got himself a nice nine point. West Cottonson season's going on right now. Them are the only two that I know of. Like I said, our starts tomorrow. What a day. It's going to be like 80 some degrees out. But I got me a thermosel, so I should be all right. I'm going to hunt the morning. The morning should be the best part of the hunt anyway because it's going to be cool. It's supposed to get hotter as the day goes on. Um, I'm going out into that box blind on that private property that I did a video on last year towards the end of the season. I'm going to be sitting in there. Um, my son and I were just out there Monday fixing the door because the door had broke and like the second or third day of, towards the end of the season it broke. So I took some two by fours and just uh, meshed it up there so nothing would live in there all winter 
try to keep as many critters out as possible, but you're not going to keep the mice out. And as we got into the blind, there were seven bees nests in there. So I took care of them, but the mosquitoes were, were bad, awful bad. I mean, and I found out why his, uh, that the woods there that sits, that blind sits on the edge of inside that woods there, it's all flooded. Cause you know, uh, landowner told me not to go in that way. Cause there's water over your knees. Man, the mosquitoes, there's water over your knees. There's just water everywhere. So that's a, like a safe haven for the mosquitoes. I mean, they're bad everywhere, but back there, the only bad thing about it is I got to walk the edge of the bean field to get back to that blind. So I'm not, he doesn't want nobody in the hardwoods unless we're going to get a deer. But I got to walk the edge of the bean field down and hopefully I'm, I'm taking a risk because them deer are going to be in them beans, I think, when I get out there in the morning. But there's no other way around that. The private property on the other side, I can't go through to get there. So I'm just going to have to make the best of what I got. You know, it's private property. I got to do what they say. So in order to hunt, I got to walk the edge of the bean field down. So, but what are you going to do? It's a place to hunt. You know, and see what happens. You never know. But uh, that's that starts tomorrow. I'll probably be out there about six six thirty in the morning tomorrow. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to meet up with the boys from Wisconsin on the eleventh of October. So I should have some video action from that too. That I'm really looking forward to that. Just to go to another camp. <coughs> Excuse me. Just go to another camp and experience another deer camp because I'm always at mine. Um, so that ought to be good. Um, no, there's a lot of things coming, a lot of things down the pipeline coming. I mean, I'm going to, I want to make a trip back to camp to check my cameras. I'm going to probably do that uh, around the 20th and then that'll be it till um, uh, rifle season starts. Um, I'm leaving the 10th of November, and I'm going to camp for two weeks. So that's going to be, that's awesome. I, the more time, the better at camp. But no, I'll be leaving, and I'll be coming back that Sunday after Thanksgiving. And then I'll have my my son and the two buddies plus my brother for the first week. And as of right now, I got one other guy coming over. He's going up for two weeks, but he's got a camp just north of Newberry, south of Paradise. So he's coming down to stay with me till from Sunday till Wednesday. He's got to be home for Thanksgiving. And I got a line on two other guys. So, But I know the first week there's going to be five of us. But it's I can't believe it's here right now with this weather. This is it's ungodly warm. You get a deer and this stuff, man, you better get it done ASAP. So another thing I want to want to thank you again for watching and subscribing. Um, I think I'm like 60 some away from a thousand. Um, I really want to hit that thousand mark real bad. I'm going to do a, a giveaway what it is yet. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but, uh, I've been told in some of my videos I got to speak up or I did buy a, a mic now, hopefully one that works. I've had, this is the third one, so the other two I had didn't work were the hill of beans. So I'm videotaping this on my phone. So I don't have a GoPro yet, but I do have my camcorder. That works all right with the volume and I, I can't find a microphone for that yet, but uh, I'm working on that. But no, I'm trying to do more upgrades, trying to get better at doing this. I just want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate it. So once again, Daisy, Daisy May Whitetails. 
go on and check out what else he has to offer as far as these plaques. Um, for all you Michigan bow hunters or anybody else, uh, make sure you're wearing them safety harnesses. Be safe. It can happen to anybody. So we'll talk to you tomorrow from the, from the, from the deer stand. Thanks for watching.